एवरीवन दिस इज मी सुजीत कुमार योर मैथ्स फैकल्टी एज यू नो माय प्रोफाइल ओके आई हैव डन बीटेक यू नो एंड आई हैव डन आई हैव टू इयर्स वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन टीसीएस विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम इन द लास्ट पार्ट आई वाज टीचिंग यू हाउ टू फाइंड द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स इन प्लेन एज वेल एज इन स्पेस ओके now i have given you one simple question okay it is what a force of 10.5 newton acts on a particle along a direction making an angle of 37 degree with the vertical find the component of the force in the vertical direction quite simple question based on the resolution if you know a little bit of resolution and also the trigonometry everyone can answer this so please pause the video and try to solve on your own if you will be unable then please watch the solution yep solution is nothing f cos theta and theta uh, as you know theta is 37 degree so cos 37 we know the value 4 upon 5 so we will get 8.40 newton quite simple yep if you have any problem please inbox me i will help you okay i am going to start a different topic which is dot product dot product is also called a scalar product okay uh, the product that you uh, that we have seen uh, in our secondary classes okay school is what just to multiply two number okay but here it uh, it is different why because that was the scalar now we are encountering with the vectors okay and to multiply vector we need to check so many things so that's why uh, product is categorized in two part one is dot another is cross okay cross i will teach you in the next class okay first i am going to discuss dot product dot product is the by definition is called vector a dot vector b and it is equal to magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine of theta and theta is what angle between vector a and vector b okay as you can see in the diagram also now please remember this uh, definition with this you can find dot product dot product is quite simple any kind of problem that comes with the dot you can solve even in the board even in the competitive examination okay because you it is giving you the direct marks are you understanding yeah now uh, but for this you should also know that basic trigonometry as it is written here you know uh, cos 90 degree cos 90 is what 0 very good cos 0 is what 1 cos 45 is what 1 by root 2 and so on so if two vectors are perpendicular then their angle will be what angle between the two vectors will be 90 degree then their dot product will be what their magnitude times cosine of their 90 angle and their angle is 90 so cos 90 is what 0 hence the whole answer will become zero so this you need to understand or you need to memorize that the dot product between two mutually perpendicular vectors is always zero okay now uh, i am going to teach you the properties of the dot product okay what are the properties of the dot product see dot product follows two properties first is commutative second is distributive commutative pro properties is nothing but just like 3 into 5 can be written as 5 into 3 okay both are giving the number 15 so here also comes the same thing vector a dot b can be written as vector b dot a then you may ask why sir see dot product is giving you the scalar quantity okay hence it is called also a scalar product it is not giving you another mm -hmm. vector okay if you want another vector then you need to switch for the cross product okay which i will teach you in the next class okay so as it is giving you it is it is giving you a magnitude or a scalar so it doesn't depend whether you are multiplying with whether you are keeping first number in the first uh, side or you are keeping in the second side okay it always give the same answer it is also distributive in nature distributive means if one number just like 3 into 5 plus 4 5 plus 4 is under the bracket 
then we can also give uh, uh, write, uh, write is okay 3 into 5 plus 3 into 4 okay same thing is going at here also okay vector a dot vector b plus c which is in the bracket okay you know the board mass rule okay the same thing is going for do the bracket then do the multiplication same thing so here also you can switch this in different way vector a dot b plus vector a dot c okay it can also be written in like this okay it is going to follow the same your uh, school uh, points okay which you have memorized in the six seven eight class okay or you have understood okay same thing there is nothing new on this okay there is one question okay because without solving question you won't grasp the proper theory so let's solve the question the work done by a force vector f during a displacement vector r is given by what vector f dot vector r so this is the dot product okay work done this is the basic definition you may know in the physics suppose a force of 12 newton okay acts on a particle in vertically upward direction okay here it is given the force magnitude is what 12 newton its direction is what j okay j cap j cap is we give the symbol for the upward direction and the particle is displaced through 2 meter in vertically downward direction okay so it is the not uh, means uh, distance it is the displacement okay going uh, downward means minus j okay and the magnitude is 2 meter so find the work done by the force during this displacement so you know work done uh, formula it is also given f dot r simply put the formula get the answer you know the direction you know the magnitude please try to solve on your own i am giving you the time okay if you abound then you can also post the video okay now let's see the solution angle between vector the uh, f and r is 180 why because one is going upward okay one is going upward and another is going downward so definitely it is making a complete line okay straight line and straight line angle is what 180 degree so the angle between vector f and vector r force and displacement is 180 degree now we know uh, from the dot product formula w is what first magnitude first vector's magnitude second vector magnitude and the angle between them so f r cos theta f is 12 newton r is 2 meter and cos theta is what 180 degree and you know cos 180 from the trigonometry is nothing but minus 1 so you get minus 24 joule as you can see it is giving a scalar quantity please try to re remember it okay it is not giving a different vector we are using vector but we are converting it into a scalar then you will you may think then what is the need of the dot product okay dot product is used in finding the projection okay which i will teach you in the next class because projections is very crucial in vectors okay it is used everywhere it is used in you know the complex number okay complex number also defined or also uh, solved using the vector terms okay and here and sorry at there also we use the concept of dot product okay because we need to find the projection in physics also okay of you have understood something from me and do learning enjoy the life happy diwali no further about me please